now to the tutorial. There are so many great mobile and smartphone apps that are just not yet available on desktop, even though users are requesting to be able to have access to them for that service. What we have been able to do instead of just recreating the wheel for desktop computers when these are not available is to do a workaround. And that's what we are going to talk about today. Specifically, we are talking about the use of an Android emulator. There are many options for an emulator out there on the market right now, and many of them are free, though some are paid. We are recommending that you use BlueStacks because it is free to use, free to install, easy to install. Beginners can use it. It works with both PC and Mac. But if you'd like to investigate the other options, there's a link to a blog article from 10downloads.com that you can check out for more information. Getting started is pretty simple. You should go to bluestacks.com and click the button that says download Bluestacks. You do not have to create an account in Bluestacks or give them your email or anything at that point. Once you click it, the installer will download and you will click to go ahead and let it do its thing on your desktop computer. Once you click it, you'll see this screen and you'll have the option to click install now. If you see there where I'm circling, you'll see some options to opt in to email or to take care of some settings, but none of that is really necessary. Pretty much what you gotta do is just hit the button to install now. It can take several minutes to download and I have just cut that part out of this tutorial, but once you are done downloading it and you launch it, it will again take a few more minutes to go ahead and finish getting set up on your computer. So don't be surprised again if it takes a few minutes. Once you're all set up, you'll have the option to go up to that right hand corner if you see that blue box and search for the app that you want to use or the game, you should be able to find it right there inside Bluestacks. If you want, you can also search from within Bluestacks on the Google Play website without even having to leave Bluestacks. The interface is all connected right in there. So if you're looking for a social media app like Facebook Lite or a game like, it makes it seamless and easy to just find what it is you are looking for and then play it inside of the emulator.